This is, needs to be the new meditation that we use all the time. It says, Seu marom enechem, ureu mi bara ele. Literally translated, it means raise your gaze, raise your eyes up to the heavens and see, and see who created this. Seu marom enechem, raise your gaze, raise your eyes to the heavens, and ureu mi bara ele. And then you will see who created these, these things. What does that mean? We go through life, and something comes into our life. And the natural tendency of our eyes is to create a false world of darkness. The only antidote, the only antidote is to begin to say, okay, this person is saying this, this person is doing this, or I see this. Stop. Literally, and I strongly recommend for those of you who know it, those of you who don't, to learn this verse. This is the meditation. Seu marom enechem. You stop. You see somebody came into your office and gave you bad news. You stop. You don't continue the conversation. More importantly, you don't continue building the dark worlds in your mind that Rukhas Hashem become your reality. You stop. And you repeat the verse. Seu marom enechem. Raise your gaze upward. Not to this person. Not to this person who's telling you that. Not to this person who you hear is trying to do that. But rather to the heavens. Where did it come from? Ureu mi barail. And start seeing who created it. Seu marom enechem, all the time, all day, every day, especially in the negative, when you're getting something slightly negative or even something that could be negative, stop. Seu, and repeat the verse. Seu marom enechem, raise your gaze up high. Ureu mi barel. Then you start seeing who created this, who sent this person into your office, who made this person give you the phone call. Of course, the light to the Creator. There's the yud ke, which is the source. And then there's the Vavke, which is the manifestation. The crea- what Moses was telling Joshua, when they start talking, when they start telling you all the, ne- start building all the negative worlds in their minds and trying to influence you, look up to the Yud K. Meditate on those two letters. What do those two letters represent? That everything that manifested in the Vavke, everything that represented in the physical world came from only one source, from the light of the Creator. The only way is to understand that my job in life is to change my vision. It's going to happen this week. Something's going to happen. That 10% that your eyes see, that unmolded reality that your eyes see. And then you're going to feel right away, inside, somewhere in your mind, oh, but ah, and they, oh, this whole world is starting being created. This is what's going to happen, right? Stop. Seu marom enechem, say the words, and also consciously lift up your gaze, ureu mi bara ele, and understand, understand where did this come from? But I'm saying came from the light of the Creator. Of course, it's good. Seu marom repeated again a hundred times. Every time that the 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 the, 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 the negative spies are trying to build another world of darkness for you in your mind through your vision. Repeat the verse again and again and again. Seu marom enechem ureu mi bara ele. Raise up your gaze to the heavens and see, understand who created this. The light of the Creator, of course. It's good. It's light. It's blessing. But ah, oh, but, but, but the spies are coming in again and they're starting to create the world again. Seu marom enechem ureu mi bara ele. Remember, raise up my gaze, my gaze, my vision, and I will start to see who created these things. And if you have to use, meditate on the yud k, those two letters. Those two letters, Ya Yoshiacham Me'atzat Me'raglim, that's what saves us from the spies who build world of darkness from 10% of unmolded reality. Without this work of transforming our vision and our eyes, V'chol Me'na'atzai Lo Yirua, it's not possible to see the beautiful world right in front of us.